Hi, welcome to Technical Tuesday. My name's Andy Dudley and this is the Jobo M500 Next Generation. Jobo, based in Bruges in Belgium, have been manufacturing gravity-fed wood chippers for over 20 years. Now I'm going to take you around the Next Generation M500. The M500 is a 5-inch capacity gravity-fed wood chipper. The chipping drum inside the machine is 500 millimetres wide with two knives bolted on the drum 180 degrees apart. Power in the machine is a 25 horsepower Honda petrol engine and the famous removable fuel tank from Jobo is the 20 litre jerry cam. So the infeed hopper features a fold down panel and then you can see the material gets fed in through the hopper down to the drum at the bottom. What we'll do now is open up the hopper so we can have a closer look at the knives on the drum. All Jobo chippers are fitted with a quick release discharge chute. As you can see on the M500, your discharge chute can swivel from left to right and also it's got an adjustable flipper on it as well. Now to get into the knives, we need to lift the hopper. Before we lift the hopper, we'll remove the discharge chute. Undo the two clips. And lift off. Underneath the hopper, there's three bolts that hold it down. Just got this last one here. Take that out. And now we've got access into our knives. The cutting drum is fitted with two knives, 180 degrees apart. As you can see, you've got the cutting edge here on this knife and once this side's worn down, you can unbolt the knife, turn it round and then you've got another cutting edge here. These knives cut up against an anvil blade. The anvil blade you can turn four times as well uh, and to adjust the anvil blade, you have a set of bolts underneath through these holes and that allows you to move the anvil blade in and out. Over here we have a safety switch so while the hopper is up in the air, the engine can't be started. The M500 is a self-propelled unit. All the controls for the machine are here at the back. So on the little control panel here, we have an emergency stop button, we have an hour clock, we have the fast and slow speed for the engine, which is fully variable. We have the ignition switch here, just to the left, and then we have the red handle, which controls the hydrostatic system. So to actually drive this machine backwards and forwards, once the engine's running, pull the red handle and then twist this grip here. Twist it forwards, machine will drive forwards, and again, pull it into reverse and the machine will go into reverse. Thank you for watching Technical Tuesday. If you've got any questions about the machine, please leave them in the comments section below. And please feel free to like, share and subscribe to our other social media channels. And I look forward to speaking to you on the next Technical Tuesday.